persecuted in behalf of God. That's right. Let's see. How do you react when somebody really eyes at you? How do you react when someone just backbites you? How do you react when someone speaks to you the wrong way? How do you react when someone look at your wife wrong? How do you react when someone look at your husband up and down? How do you react when someone shake your finger and not your hand? Amen. How do you react when your employer don't give you what you feel as though you deserve? How do you react when they scandalize your name on internet? How do you react when church people call you out of your name? That's right. Do you manifest the behavior of God in the midst of all of it or any of it? That's right. Or do your fleshy will take over and dictate what you say, how you think, and how you act? Amen. If your fleshy will is presently dictating you for everyday life. You fall apart. Lord. When someone backbites you, I ain't going to church. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Someone rolled their eyes at you. I'm getting off that committee. Small things. small things. If you cannot judge a small matter, the apostle said you judge. can't judge a large. Right. So if you can endure everyday small things, you will deny the Lord our God right. if you are faced with persecution. That's right. This is bigger yes, sir. than coming to church singing. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Prophets were killed. Yes, sir. Prophets yeah. was murdered. Yeah. Apostles yeah. were slain, yeah. murdered, yeah. thrown in jail. That's right. Others were so, tortured. Look, look, hear, hear, hear this now. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11, and we'll start at verse 32. I want y'all to get this good. And what shall I more say? What shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak, and of Samson and of Jephthah, of David also, and, and Samuel and of the prophets, yes. who, who through faith, who through faith, subdued kingdoms. My glory to God, when faith is with you, you can take over a whole lot. That's right. Through faith, they subdue, conquered kingdoms. Wrought righteousness. Wrought righteousness. Obtain promises. Obtain promises. Stop the mouths of lions. Oh, they go. <laughs> Daniel was thrown in the den of lions. Amen. Glory to God, the faith was down there waiting for him to arrive. That's right. King, come back. Daniel! You still here? Yes! My God! Help the living man! Hallelujah. He has stopped the mouth of the lion! Lions! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Through faith. Glory to God through faith. Through faith. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Amen. Suppose ISIS catch you. Will you deny God to save your life? 
For the Lord hath said in scripture, he that seek to save his life shall lose it. But he that loses life for my name's sake shall find it. You may wonder why we preach so hard, so bold, so free. Amen. I die for it. Hallelujah. I love God enough to die for it. Hallelujah. That's why I don't fear none of you. That's right. Hallelujah. That's I right. die for it. Hallelujah. The prophets were murdered. Yes, yes, Listen at this. Quench the violence of fire. They quenched the violence of fire. Hebrew brothers stoned in fire. That's right. In the book of Joshua, so was Abraham. Yeah. Yeah. Abraham was stoned in fire. They tied his hands and tied his feet. Mm -hmm. And then they threw him in fire, but the fire only burnt the cords. That's right. And when they came back to investigate, he was still in there. Still in there. They went back and told the king, Abraham was still in the fire. I don't believe that. Yeah. If the king come check things out, Abraham is walking three days. That's right. And three nights in the fire. In the fire. With no hope. Amen. Now, fire represents the power of trials. For the book says, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is just the trial, as though some strange thing happened to you. Whatever you experienced, stop thinking you went through something so unusual. That's right. People don't went through the same thing before you was born. Amen. Amen. And now it's your turn yeah. and your time. Yeah. You got two choices. Fall apart or let God stand with you. Yeah. Two choices. Yeah. Fall apart or grab hold of God. And said, I won't let you go. Until you bless me. to me. Hallelujah. Jacob wrestled until the breaking of day. That's right. Angel let him know, look, I got to get out of here. The day is breaking. Jacob said, no, sir. I won't let you go. You know when you want something from God, stubbornness it's place. That's right. That's right. Stop it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Stop it. It's It's place. Yeah. When somebody wants you to turn on God, that's the time. That's the time. To be stubborn. That's right. physically. 
Hallelujah. Take the fight out of you. Hallelujah. So your momentum of prayer becomes affected. Yeah. You become so absorbed into what you're dealing with. Yeah. Hallelujah. So you got to be like the prophets. Hallelujah. Get away from everybody. If need be, take a break from sleeping with your wife or sleeping with your husband. That's right. Get away from children. That's right. Go to yourself. That's it. Nobody but you and God. Wait until. Go ahead, man. Wait, wait until. 
your time? Go ahead. Go ahead. Stay there. Go ahead, brother. That's what you remember. Wait for it. Go ahead, brother. If you're sick, Hallelujah. wait for it. Wait for it. Hallelujah. Well, Pastor Dennis, I came up for prayer. Yeah. And I still got the problem. Yeah. They keep waiting for it. That's right. Hallelujah. We still got a lot of problems. Hallelujah. But we're waiting. Yeah. Hallelujah. Strong. 
was made strong. Made strong. Just as Jacob wrestled with the angel, yeah. you must learn to wrestle with your will that it may be brought on a subjection by God's will. Yeah. Our first reaction to things should be the reaction of God. That's right. Sometimes Satan, by God's permission, yeah. will bring people in your life to challenge the godly side of life. And it may be your brother, it may be your mother, it may be wife, husband, children, cousins, relatives, brother in church, sister in church, to challenge your sincerity That's right. and see how much can you endure for how long. Because even the devil knows, it says he had endured to the end. That's right. Are you listening to the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. Many of you watching me now are backsliders. You last for a while. Then the devil brought something in your life and you went away from God. Look at you now, brother and sister backslider. You're out there living in a manner that you know better. Within the backslider, there's a seed in there. Yeah. Hallelujah. And that seed remaineth. The backslider that been taught it's one God, and if that seed took root, a Trinitarian can talk to him. And trying to push three gods on that sinner. Who know it's one, yeah. even the sinner will defend the oneness of God. That's right. That's right. Because there's a seed that seed took root. Backslayer! Why have you left God? Who you gonna blame? Oh well, I saw something happen in church. Well, why didn't you leave your job? You saw something happen on the job. That's right. That's right. You come to church for God, yeah. not for people. That's right. If you are more into people than you are God, then when people get wrong, you think everybody come to church is right? Have you lost your mind? Amen. The purpose of coming to God is to get right. That's right. And they take a tough gospel. But when you're weak, you start looking at people. Yeah. What's she doing? What he's doing? What she doing? Yeah. What he's doing? Or well, what you doing? In fact, the moment you start having your eyes on people, you sin and don't know it. That's right. For the Bible says, do your own business. Do your own business. That's right. That's right. Take your eyes off everybody. Amen. Amen. Stop using your face page for gossip. Yeah. yeah. Stop using your cell phone texting. Amen. For gossip. Amen. In the days of old Israel, when they set up camp, the Ark of the Covenant mm -hmm. was placed in the center. Yeah. Yeah. All camp was 
was around the ark. That's right. Amen. Showing you that the ark and the contents of yes, it. Yes, sir. Everybody must revolve yes. around it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Being in the center means God's law is stationary yes. with no flexibility and no movement. That's right. But you must evolve around God's law. God's word is not moving for me. It ain't moving for you. No way. I know it's tough. I know it's hard. But they that live godly will suffer persecution. Have you been persecuted yet? Persecuted. I'm talking about like them in the book. That's right. I'm not talking about someone's. Listen, my name is scandalized. I've been called everything. And it's still being done. And I had some people say, well, now let me say this. Pastor Dennis don't have a personal email account where I'm sitting on there chatting. Right, right. I've got a life. You see an account that says, well, it's Pastor Jenner's Facebook. No, I don't. No, you don't. I want to say to all my viewers, because I received word that someone set up a, a, uh, a Facebook account with my name. Lord. I, I don't have no Facebook. Right. I don't have time for it. Right. The church got a Facebook, and people send questions in, and then my secretaries gather the questions and give them to me, and when I get time, I try to answer them. Right, right. But I don't have time. And never will have the time. Amen. And don't want the time. Amen. How is it you poor preachers can just sit there on internet? You know, like these false prophets get on internet and fight me. Yeah. Don't be an internet fighter. <laughs> Face me like a man. That's right. Be a man. That's right. Come from behind your screen. Amen. Like there's this one little false prophet, Larry Cobb. Mm. Oh, he called me Andy Christ. He called me everything. <laughs> Larry, come on now so I can cob you. That's right. Come on. Amen. That's all you internet fellas got to do. Stop using your computer. I'm old school. Yeah. Come step in the square circle with me in the Bible. That's right. Man up. Yeah. That's right. Stop hiding behind the screen. Amen. You fellas talk loud behind the screen. Oh, yeah. Man up. Man up. Come on in here like a man. That's right. And stop hiding behind the screen like a little sissy. Amen. The Bible says, show yourself, show yourself a what? A man. A what? A man. I'm a man. That's it. Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. See, if I don't take the word of God and peel you buck naked. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. So persecution, internet talk, people try to scandalize me, talk about my wife and children, everything. Mm. I've been through all that. I don't put my children above yours. My children are going to make mistakes just like yours. That's right. That's and right. I tell the church folk, don't do my family like many of these churches do theirs. They are the first family. My right. family ain't no first family. Right, right, right. My family is part of God's family. That's right. That's right. Amen. My Amen. children sneak and do things like yours. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, well, you're a man of God. Anytime God is our father, That's right. and you do things in his face, his face, what about your children? Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. I remember when my oldest daughter was in high school. She's been out now about nine years. We don't go to prom. But my oldest daughter was Slick Brick. Yeah. He was Slick Brick. And, you know, school give, you know, kids projects and they work together as a team. 
There was one young lady, not saved, but raised up in a good moral house. Very respectful and whatnot. And so we thought our daughter was going over there working on the project, and she was slick. Oh, she went out the house dressed holy. See, when you want to do wrong, your friends will help you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Prince, she went out. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Went to her friend's house. Her friends had the clothes ready. Yeah. <laughs> Got all primed up. Yeah. I asked my wife, I said, well, how long are they going to work on the project? <laughs> Daddy said, well, you know them school projects are long. <laughs> and before I know it, you see, what's done in the dark, God says. It'll come to light. So the public didn't know what happened. They just lied and said, Pastor Jennings let his daughter go on the prom. Right. No. So I took the lashing. So her friends took pictures of her at the prom. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. and, and this is how the Holy Ghost worked. Yes, sir. What she thought was friends, yes. put it all over the internet. Wow. There's Pastor Jenny's daughter. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and it came to me. I said, that's not my daughter. <laughs> that's not my daughter. All oh, them pictures came rolling in. My God, my God, early, early. Maybe I saw something to me. Brother, I jumped in my car and went to Westchester University. Banging my daughter's door. Come out on our horse and on qualify, sir. I said, girl, do you see all these pictures on the internet? She didn't even know it. Mm. She said, I thought they were my friends. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But God allowed it to happen. Yes. Yes. To show her you cannot do what you want to do and be in check the right thing and get away with it. That's right. So yes, I chastised her, yes, laid her out, and she learned. Yes. Well, I didn't hang it over her head, though. Right. When I'm done with something, I'm done with it. That's right. Because I know something else will pop up later. Yeah. But what the false prophets did was download all the pictures mm. and then put it on their website and then add sugar and spice and said, Pastor Jennings allow his daughter yeah. to go on the prom. Mm. See, you can't follow someone that take a stand like this and be careless. That's right. That's right. Even you, that's not my blood. That's right. If you're in the church of Jesus Christ, you cannot be careless because they're going to blame me even when you are fool. That's right. That's right. They have flipped that thing around and said, oh, he allow it. Yeah. Amen. He allow it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. They can't touch my gospel. Right. So they say, well, he allowed this now. He allowed that now. Right, right. They don't want the people that do it to take responsibility. No. Man, my daughter was apologizing and kept apologizing and kept, but she learned. She learned from that. And the mistake that many people make, they forget what they done. Right. You may be an adult now. Right. But you was a wicked child. That's right. And some of you are still wicked adults. Amen. Don't put my children up on no pinnacle. I don't 
don't put them there. They normal truth. They came from an extraordinary woman, but they're normal children. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. That's right. And then Paul reflected on himself and said, we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. So to this very day, false prophets on the internet Lord. took those pictures, and that's over nine years ago, and they still use them. Mm. That's something. They won't touch my gospel, but they will attack my children, attack my wife. One woman, one girl said that my wife should just haul off and die. Mm. This is the hatred. My said Lord. my wife should just haul off and die. My Lord, my Lord. One man that I used to pastor yeah. said he hoped that my children, my girls particularly, never marry, but they all just keep having babies oh, so they will embarrass me and my wife. My Lord, my Lord. This is someone that's supposed to have the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's a hatred. That's a hatred. That's a hatred. That's a hatred. They that live godly in Christ Jesus in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. We have took it, yeah. and I'm willing to keep taking it. Hallelujah. They believe that they can break us. Yeah. You don't know of the material <laughs> that God made us. That's right. You don't have what it takes, well. No, no. You can throw me in prison. You can throw me in the electric mm. chair. Before I turn against my God, Hallelujah. I die first. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will never deny Jehovah. Won't deny. They. That live, that godly, live godly in Christ Jesus in Christ Jesus shall suffer shall, shall suffer you got something to go through oh yeah it's gonna hit you but your leader will always be the primary target that's right even the FBI send word they done infiltrated the congregation People, men, come here, working with the FBI, pretending like they brothers. The funny bill of investigation. I don't care if you FBI. Do I look intimidated by you? By you being here is good. Because now you got to stand before God for the gospel you've been hearing. That's right. The FBI don't intimidate us. No, no. You got the wrong man. Amen. Amen. They, they that live godly in Christ Jesus, that live godly, yes, live godly in Christ Jesus, shall suffer. Shall, shall suffer persecution. Some things will happen to you just because of who your leader is. That's true. Amen. 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 That's true. You want to get a fight out of people? Tell them who you with. That's right. That's right. Tell them who you with. Your own mother may deny you. Yeah. Your father may reject you. Amen. Your wife may leave you. Yeah. And your husband may walk out on you. That's true. All because, All because of this message. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. They that live godly. They that live Hallelujah. godly in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Shall suffer persecution. Hallelujah. There's one article written on internet mm -hmm. by a woman. She got it labeled, men that have lost their wives yeah. to Pastor Jennings. I've seen that. I've seen that. Not that I took their wives. But she's degrading the men who desire to follow this truth right. and their wife refused to follow it mm -hmm.
and the men went on and followed it anyway without the wife. Right. So the woman wrote an article. Yeah. Men that lost their wives that lost their husbands. Right. To Pastor Jennings. I'm sorry, that's what it said. Wives that lost their husbands. Right. To Pastor Jennings. <laughs> We have a gospel that will make a man out of you. Oh, yeah. You haven't seen this many men in nobody's church. You'll see it in the mosque, but you won't see it in church. Because church ain't got nothing to offer you but Kirk Franklin. That's right. Only thing a church got to offer you is Stomp or TD Snakes Hallelujah. or Cruffler Old Penny. Oh, the pimps of L.A. Oh, hey. oh this new program preachers. called The Preachers. Preachers. Four dogs. Go ahead. Go ahead. And one of them is my cousin. Jamal Bryant. Mm. A Baltimore false prophet. Amen. My Lord. See, when it come to God, I ain't related to nobody. That's right. Hallelujah. I don't care who you are. We believe in old-fashioned holiness. We believe that the laws of God should be respected and the laws of God Hallelujah. should govern the governments of the world. Right. And the laws of God should govern the homes of the world. And the laws oh, of God, God should govern the workplace of the world. That's right. That's right. Part two. The world is in chaos because of their consistent rejection yeah. of God's law. That's right. Read quick. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. You may lose a job over. That's right. That's right. That's right. Suffer persecution. Suffer persecution. Amen. When you want to live for God, you got to pay a price. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Television stations kicked us off because of this message. That's right. But we wouldn't move. Stations got rid of us. Other stations picked us up. Message didn't change. No, no. Stations that threatened us not to preach against homosexuality. I don't know who you talking to. Amen. You ain't talking to me. No, no. The day I stop preaching is when God take it out the Bible. Yeah. That's right. Otherwise than that, if it's going to stay there, I'm going to preach it. I'm not threatened by nobody but God. Amen. You tell me stop preaching, you talking to me. <laughs> you talking to me. God <laughs> made me a preacher. Hallelujah. Wonderful. It's a commandment. It's a commandment. Preach the word. Preach the word. Preach the word. What did he say? Yea, and all that will live God. You must be ready Jesus. for this. Right. Speaking in tongues don't prepare you for the persecution. No, no. The lifestyle that God requires prepares you for the persecution. That's right. Because you don't know what's going to happen. Knife may be put at your throat. Heaven mm. may throw hot scarlet water on you. Mm. Wife may put some rat poison in your food. Son may get a sex change because of his hate towards the message. Daughter may go marry another girl as a form of open retaliation. My Lord. Child may deliberately get pregnant just to deliberately embarrass you. Open retaliation. My Lord. 
Pentecost. The whole book says, Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall, shall. suffer. Shall. 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 That's a promise. That's right. You don't know where it's coming from or from whom? The government slowly but surely wants to dictate religion. That's right. That's right. But I will say to America today and tomorrow and forevermore, you will never dictate the truth of God. Amen. No Democrat, no Republican. It doesn't matter who step in the White House. Go ahead, brother. This is one church, one message. Hallelujah. You will never dictate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ain't no politician coming in none of the truth of God temples. Running for office? Not here. Oh no, you ain't coming here. Amen. Let your agenda stay out there. You ain't coming here. Right. Unless you want to hear the word of Let's God. Hear. That's right. But no politician can come here in any of our temples anywhere in the world and ask, can I have your vote? No! no. This is church. And God said, my house. Go ahead. There ain't no voting booths here. No voting booths. My house. That's right. Shall be called a house of prayer. That's right. No voting booths. You no good, rotten, apostolic, and Baptist, and Catholic, and Mormon, and non-denominational, and Pentecostal, worthless things. Amen. Democratic voting booths in your church. In your church. And you know the Democrats endorse homosexuality. Right. Republican uh, voting booths in your church. And you know Trump is unstable. That's yes, right. Very unstable. Very unstable. Trump is nothing but an old fashioned bigot. Amen. Think. Any time a man can run for office and not even in the White House and can cause chaos among Americans, imagine what he Amen. would do to his countries if he was in the White House. He's not even in there. That's right. So much trouble. A man that make mockery of lame people. Yeah. He's a sick human being. Yeah. Amen. Very dangerous. Are you listening? Amen. That's true. Yeah, man, good. They that live God. But they that live godly in Christ Jesus what happens? shall suffer persecution. Real quick. But evil men, evil men and seducers what will happen to them? shall wax worse and worse. Worse and worse. Shall wax. Worse and worse. A few people left the truth of God because we was too tough for them. Yeah. They wanted sugar and we didn't have none to offer. No. no sugar. Because Jesus told us salt is good. That's right. That's right. No sugar here. No sugar. Salt. They bring out the good seasoning of the yes, meat. Sir. That's right. <laughs> Evil men that seduce us, your wax. Worse and worse. What else will these fellows do? Deceiving. And? And being deceived. Is it happening? Yes. That's right. Amen. Human family, you ought to thank God that someone is standing up for God. Hallelujah. We won't sell you out. That's right. I will never ask you to buy me a car. No. <laughs> Amen. Or a plane. No. You got that kind of money, you can buy me planes. Go buy some churches. That's right. We'll set some more up around the world. That's right. 
That's right. I would never ask you to give me money to buy a car and a jet. A jet. We all about God here. Wonderful, brother. I ask you for money for God. For God. And for the advancement of the work of God. That's right. But for my personal self, no. No. I wouldn't do it. No, no. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. It says what there? But evil men and seducers shall wax they worse and worse, worse and worse, deceiving, deceiving and being deceived. But what should the church do? But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. Are you listening to me? Amen. Keep on going. Keep on. Keep on. Stay with God. That's right. Stay with him. 